1246 the time right now. We continue our coverage of tracking Hurricane Dorian. We're going back to the Bahamas right now. That's right. We have Brian Eli, our photographer, with that team, with Janice Fernandez, working this storm. Brian Eli is a personal friend of mine. Brian, I want you to know I was on the phone nonstop with your wife until we heard that you were okay. We are so happy you're okay. My goodness, what is it like being there now? You've, you've gone through everything. Uh, well, uh, I, I, don't, I don't even know. I don't even have the words to tell you. Well, where we're at right now is, you know, we are, uh, things are stable. Um, uh, in terms of the structures that we're in, um, you know, we've got food and water to get us through the next few days. So what we're doing right now is we're just trying to figure out logistics on the island. So uh, anytime you have a hurricane like this, um, in the States or uh, here in the Bahamas, they go through uh, much the same process of starting to clear the roads. Um, uh, starting uh, last night, we've seen Coast Guard uh, flying around uh, uh, in the, uh, by helicopter. So we know that they've done inspections of uh, points at which they can land and uh, start getting aid to the island. Um, I just uh, saw two, uh, two members of our crew uh, just arrived from the uh, government building, which is near the airport. Um, they had to uh, they had to walk there um, uh, while they're still waiting to get the roads cleared between here and there. So uh, we're we're at the point where we're starting to get contact with the outside world, which is uh, which is good. But you know what's uh, what's been different about this storm is just how long it has persisted. Um, even right now, um, the, the, we, we're, we're just picking up another uh, 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 squall of rain uh, is coming through. The wind is still uh, still remarkable. Two days later, you know, so uh, I've done uh, a number of these hurricanes in the past. Normally, you uh, get wild weather for uh, a day or so, a few hours, and it ends up clearing up. But this, this one, it just hasn't stopped. Um, so the... The experience of the eye wall uh, here was the first for me, uh, as intense as it was, and uh, I can only imagine what Freeport uh, has been experiencing, because if that eye wall that was over us for two or three hours before the eye, and then again after the eye. Brian, are you still with us? Oh, man, did we lose him? Sounds like it. Uh. Oh. I wanted to ask him more details because he's covered so many yes. hurricanes. He's so experienced, and I just wanted to talk to him more about what he went through. Once again, so glad that they're okay. But, man, they rode out a storm in a hotel room inside a bathroom. Uh, he and his, his reporter, Janice Fernandez. Is he still with us? Oh, we lost okay. the line. Okay, well, you're looking at the aftermath in the Bahamas. He was starting to explain to us about the cleanup efforts, the clearing of the roads. You know, there's going to be so much cleanup before there's ever any rebuilding. That's why we have to get the essentials and the necessities in there first, and then they're going to start rebuilding structures and, and begin again. I told you before, they're still rebuilding in Freeport from Matthew just a few years ago. So you can imagine this is going to be a huge undertaking on those Bahamian islands, and uh, I'm so glad to see so much support from South Florida. Yeah,